myself the way that I've handled Carly through Michael's tragedy. No, she's a mother, okay. Sonny, uh, and she's going through unimaginable pain. It's not right for me to make judgments, but I love you. Right. And to see her yelling at you outside of Michael's ICU room, blaming you, making you give up your sons, it's, it's not right. Okay, she wasn't very nice. We all make mistakes. Carly well, made a mistake. Oh, it's my like... God. What's, what's, what's... There it is. There it is what? You're defending her. Oh, please. Do you see? No matter what you've been through, you two are a team. Alexis was yelling at both of you. And the truth is, you and Carly will always be a part of each other's lives. Maybe. That's true. But you're the one that I love. Johnny is obviously attracted to me. Johnny knows you're a slut. I guess he likes me that way. Okay, if you don't stop throwing yourself at Johnny, I will screw up so badly at work that we'll both get fired. I have a better idea. You're a Spencer, which means you're a gambler. So... Why don't we take one spin on the roulette wheel? All or nothing. If it lands on red, I get a date with Johnny free and clear. If it lands on black, I'll leave Johnny alone for good. I get to spin the wheel. Fine by me. Oh, you know, just restate the rules so I know it's fair. Red, you get a date with Johnny Black, you stay the hell away from him. Do I look like a poker chip? I'm not going to be wagered like one. Whoa, well, Johnny, that, uh, this is not what, that's not what this no, no. is about. I know what it's about. It's about the challenge, right? And I'm always up for a challenge, so I'll take the date with Maxie. What's going on? We sat here on this couch a few nights ago, and we talked about how much we loved each other. You gave me this bracelet, and I touch this thing 20 times a day, and I think about you. This bracelet's for our memories. We already have so many wonderful ones, Jack. No. With many more to come, I hope. With a lifetime more to come. You know, I told you when I married you that Shut I was up. so grateful. I love you. And I always will. When you saw me at the Honda Star, you knew something was wrong. You're going to finally tell me? Yes, I am. Jason came over uh, this afternoon to give me uh, a Father's Day present from Michael. Life vest for me and the boys. And then out of nowhere, Carly shows up with, with another gift from Morgan. Little, little handprints, you know, that he, he made. Oh, Sonny. So here I am, standing in, the, in, in my living room. With two gifts from my boys that are gone from my life. So, it, you know, I got to tell you, it felt, it felt like a bottomless pit was just going to open up and I was going to be swallowed in. And, and I wish you had called me. You know, I thought about calling you and then I thought, you know what, I'm not going to, I don't know. I, um, I mean, you do make me feel better all the time. And that there's hope for a future without violence and... A chance to see my boys. You, uh... You make me believe I can have a life. You, you... You make me... Believe in myself. And I don't know if that's selfish or what, but, uh... I love you for that. I do believe in you, Sonny, and I do believe that we can have a wonderful life together. It's true, Spinelli. I haven't done you any favors, no, that's for sure. Did Jacob protest the veracity of that most misleading statement? Your grasshopper was already in toils with mobsters, namely the shark-skinned Darth Alcazar when he and Stone Cold first met. Darth Alcazar? Mm -hmm. Lorenzo Alcazar paid the jackal 
heftily for his cyber services, but, but then Stone Cold came in and changed my life for the better by being a bastion of integrity. From one mobster to the next, yeah, that's really bettering yourself, Spinelli. Okay, well, the Jackal appreciates Vic Spinelli's assistance and concern. He must ask her to refrain from engendering guilt and Stone Cold on the Jackal's behalf. It's sweet the way he hero worships you. It's like you're his older brother. Well, the Jackal could only hope to be worthy of a sibling like Bond with Stone Cold. Being an older sibling is his sacred bond. You always have to be there for your little brother. You never, ever let him down. You finished with your pizza? You're not good at taking advice, are you? Okay, I can take a hand. Big Snows, welcome to more soda. Thanks, sure. Spinelli, but your hero is practically booting me out the door, so have another piece of that pizza, and you'll feel great in the morning, okay? Bye. Stay here. The man who delivered the food was exposed to the Asian ague, a highly contagious illness. To avoid further outbreak, you're all under quarantine. No one may leave the premises. I'm the next General Hospital. So you're sleeping with Jerry Jacks. Dr. Scorpio can't take any calls right now. This is my hotel. Get out. Now! Will you please do something with your wife?